Adam and Nina, the news came in just last night, but Chris Dudley isn't wasting any time. Kate Palmer here in the Shake It Till You Make a Foundation launch at the Rose Garden, and you're watching redcarpettalk.com. Oh, two weeks left as your reign. Yeah, the uh, the Miss Oregon pageant this year is the first week of October, so mm -hmm. I have just a little bit, a little bit of time left. So, yeah. and so how's it been? Been my husband. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, it's been good. 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 Okay, so we're backstage now talking to some of the judges. I'm here with Seattle Mariners announcer Rick Riz. How are you today? Fine, Katie. How are you doing? I'm typically your first offense is reduced to about 10% of the original fine amount, according to the Ben Code Enforcement Officer. Live outside the shower room tonight, Kate Paul, News Channel 20. This is the home of the Portland Beavers baseball team, but after this $31 million deal, it's now the new home of the Portland Timbers minor league soccer team and will hold about 8,000 more screaming fans. What do you think of the top 15? Were there any surprises for you? You know, for me. Even though he did have someone managing his email while he was away, Bush said he came back to about 400 emails last night. So I got there and I didn't really understand much of it, but you, you know, you get there, you learn, and so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so Marley is still. The well, bigger the city, the larger the font, and the bigger the sign. Making this street sign here on Morrison an indicator that Portland might be 150 years now, old. Now, I can't really tell the difference between the coffee in this cup, the instant stuff, compared to the coffee in this cup, the fresh fruit stuff. But we're going to ask around and see if other people can. Thanks for watching. I'm Kate Paul. This is redcarpettalk.com. We'll see you next time. Mark Bush isn't just the top cop around Crook County. He's also a proud member of the Oregon National Guard. And he just came home from spending more than a year in Iraq. News Channel 21's Kate Paul spent some time with him today and joins us now. And how's he doing, Kate? Adam and Nina, Chief Bush says he's a changed man with a lot more experience under his belt now. He calls the job he had at the Victory Base Complex near Baghdad tremendous and the lessons he learned there invaluable. It's been just one week since Pineville Police Chief Eric Bush returned to work from a 13-month-long tour in Iraq. But today, you'd never know he left. Good morning, Barb. Good morning, Eric. His National Guard deployment overseas changed him, and 13 months' time changed the life he'd put on hold. When you come back, you don't come back to things exactly the same way they were when you left. Um, my, uh, my middle son, is uh, I left, he was shorter than me, and now he's much taller than me. Uh, and little things like that, um, well, I say little things, but really things like that really are impress upon you how much, uh, how much time went by while you were gone. Bush said initially the feeling of being home was surreal, and coming back to his familiar workplace never felt better. In a lot of ways, it's, it's been a tremendous opportunity uh, here at the police department for me to, uh, uh, to kind of um, realign things and uh, a good opportunity to um, really look at our direction and, and make course adjustments that we, uh, we all feel are necessary. Because he keeps things running so smoothly, Bush's co-workers say it wasn't easy having him away. It was tough. You know, it was tough for us because we knew that the mission that he was on was not <clears throat> an easy one. And uh, so we're glad to have him back. And they're thrilled to have him back. He's a, a good leader and we've missed him. A year is a long time to be away. It was an experience that Bush says gave him priceless life lessons he'll never forget. But maybe more importantly, it gave him a new outlook on his old life. It gave me a newfound um, um, sense of uh, um, pride in our community, in, in our country. And, um, you know, a lot of the little things that may have bothered me before I left don't bother me now. Just happy to be home. Just happy to be home. Even though he did have someone managing his email while he was away, Bush said he came back to about 400 emails last Monday morning. Kate Paul, News Channel 21.